Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, I'm going to go over how to install multi-ROM on the Nexus 6. Um, this is going to be an unofficial build. Um, this is an unofficial build by Captain Jack. Uh, there are actually two out. Um, if you go into XDA and look at the multi-ROM thread, um, there are, like I said, two of them out. Um, and I, I can't, honestly, I can't remember the names of them. So we're just going to go ahead and boot into recovery. I have them there and I'll show you. Uh, I will have uh, links in the description so you guys can um, install, uh, you know, download uh, the zips that you need. Uh, make sure you guys do a backup. Um, and that's about it. Um, if you are on Marshmallow, the easiest way to do this uh, is to just download the multi-ROM app uh, and let it install multi-ROM for you. Um, but... Uh, if you're not and you're running Nougat, uh, you definitely, if you want to do it right, uh, you want to run some of the uh, unofficial builds out there, um, you're going to have to run a uh, Kexic hard boot patched kernel. Uh, most custom kernels are. Uh, I'm using Blackbird. I know Blackbird works well with it uh, by Revintech, so uh, I do uh, recommend that kernel, although your favorite kernel, your favorite custom kernel will work just as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and boot into recovery right now. Restart. Uh, recovery. Okay. Um, and guys, we're not looking at um, the end product, basically. Um, what we're doing is I'm just showing you guys how to install it, okay? Uh, where you guys go from there, what you do with it, you know, what ROMs you install is entirely up to you. Uh, but right now I'm running uh, just um, Team Win Recovery um, Official. Uh, this is 3020. I don't like the newer versions. Uh, I like 3020. That's just the ones I like to run. Um, so that's the one I'm going to run right now. Um, and, you know, er, no, that's the one we're on right now. We're going to go ahead and flash uh, multi-ROM. Now the way to do that, like I said, uh, you want to download those zips that I'll have a description to. Um, in, or a link to in the, in the uh, video description. You go to install, you find the place that you uh, had them at. Internal storage, okay. Uh, Minor under downloads. If I can find it here. I'm gonna, I'll be doing a lot of pausing through this too. I wanna try to make this as short as possible. Uh, the two unofficial um, multi-ROMs that are out uh, is bit, uh, bit o B session on um, probably killing that name and then Captain Jack. Uh, I'm going to be running the Captain Jack uh, multi ROM, although I think they're both uh, they both work just as well. Actually, you know what? Uh, we're going to go ahead and flash the uh, the uh, Bitto one. Um, it's the same way, whichever one you guys uh, use, it's still the same uh, way to do it. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is flash multi ROM. All right, so you pick on multi-ROM, uh, swipe to install. That's going to install multi-ROM. Uh, you guys can go ahead and flash twerp afterwards if you want. I don't do it that way. Uh, what I do is I go back, back, and then I reboot back into recovery. That's just how I do it. Again, guys, you can, you know, you guys can do it however you want. Uh, I'm showing you how I do it. I'm still on standard recovery, multi-ROMs installed, but I can't use it yet because I don't have a recovery that allows me to use multi-ROM. So now I need to install a multi-ROM recovery. So I'm going to go back into install. Uh, I'm still in that same folder, the uh, bit, uh, uh, Bitto B session. Man, I wish I could say that name properly. But notice that you're not seeing any more zips in there because it's an image file. It's not a zip file. So you have to click on install image. That's going to bring up uh, multi-ROM uh, 30 uh, two or three zero three two. Uh, again, this is an unofficial build, uh, so we're going to click on that. Now you want to uh, click on what partition you want to flash that to because it is an image, um, and twerps recognize that. Now this is a recovery, so you want to definitely flash this to a recovery. Uh, don't flash it to your boot or your system image, or you're going to be screwed, guys. It goes on your recovery. Okay, you just pick recovery, swipe to confirm. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back, back, and we're going to go ahead and reboot back into recovery. Now when it reboots into recovery again, we're going to be into uh, twerp recovery uh, multi-ROM. 
that's going to give us see multi rom uh, three zero three two this is going to give us all of our multi rom features uh, it's going to allow us to uh, um, uh, flash a uh, a rom onto a secondary all right so uh, in the way you get to your um, your multi rom area where you can uh, install a rom is you click on the hamburger over here or your settings tab um, and if I go to list of ROMs right now, it's empty. I have nothing there. Okay, so we're going to go back. Uh, what we're going to do is you could either go to swap ROMs and you could actually, the way I do it is I set up my primary ROM the way I want it. And guys, this is the way I recommend you do it. Set up your primary ROM the way you want it. Then click on copy primary ROM to secondary. Name it what you want. Swipe and move it over. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to show you how to flash uh, a, a secondary ROM on if you want to do it that way. But I really recommend this for you guys to do it this way right here. All right. It's simple. Um, you just swipe to do it. All right. Now, you guys are going to see that little error opening. Uh, it comes up on all of the unofficial uh, multi ROMs. It's something it does. Uh, it has no effect on anything just ignore it okay guys now i'm going to pause this while it's uh, copying that over all right it, it finished copying that over so if you click on back and if we go to list of roms now in our secondary as you can see uh we have lineage uh shamu user bug 7 it's actually uh resurrection remix which is what we have in our primary so now if i was to go back uh back and if we reboot to system now um, it's going to go ahead and boot up and what you're going to see is you're going to see the multi-ROM uh, boot screen uh, That is where you can decide where you want to boot where you want to boot into your primary or secondary you hit cancel um, Or if you don't hit cancel, it's just going to boot into your primary. That's the way it's set up Also, if you click on miscellaneous uh, If you notice there are colors on the bottom, you can actually pick a color um for your background you pick gray if you want green you know purple so on so on uh, i like to have my backgrounds black uh, it's an amoled screen just saves on battery i think it looks better um so now if we go back or if we click on internal storage uh, i'm going to show you guys i'm going to go ahead and, and boot into the uh, secondary all you do is tap on it two times and it will boot into the secondary now one thing it will do i almost know for a fact it's going to start booting up, and then it's going to go right back to the uh, to the boot logo, and you're going to have to do it again. Um, I don't know if it's a super user thing or if it's a multi ROM thing, and it has to hook the kernels. I don't know what it's doing, um, but I can almost guarantee it's going to start to boot, and then it's going to go back again. And if it doesn't, great, <laughs> and it looks like it's not going to. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. All right, I am in a secondary right now. So I'm going to swipe up, um, and I will show you guys, because I already downloaded the Multi-ROM app. Uh, let me find it here real quick. Where did I put it at? Multi-ROM. You know what? Let's just go to the uh, Play Store. And I'm going to do a search real quick for... Yes, I'm in... Multi-ROM manager. I'm going to click on that. Uh, click install. Um, even though you can't use the multi-ROM manager um, to its full extent uh, with the unofficial versions, uh, you should still have it on your system. It's just nice to use. Um, you can still delete some of your ROMs. You can look at them. You can rename them. Uh, you can do quite a few things with this multi-ROM manager. Uh, make sure you grant it uh, root access. You do have to have root in order to use the manager. You don't need it. If you guys want to run without root, um, you know, be my guest. Uh, but you do have to have root in order to use this. It'll tell you whether or not uh, your primary kernel has ke uh, Kexic hard boot patch, which mine does. I'm running Blackbird. Uh, it tells you the version you're using, even though it's an unofficial. Uh, if you click on this, it'll give you your, if you click on manage ROMs, uh, this is going to tell you what ROMs that we have in. Right now I'm running internal, and I have a Lineage Shamu as a secondary. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to boot back into recovery. Um, I might have been able to do that right from there. We'll see if it allows me to. Uh, click on that. Reboot. 
recovery and yes it allows me to reboot from recovery to there too so um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys how to install a ROM right onto your secondary instead of uh, copying uh, your primary over which is how I recommend you guys do it because you're not going to have any issues at all I'm telling you guys that is the way I highly recommend you do it but I am going to show you how to install it by just doing it so we're going to go back into multi-rom uh, I'm going to show you a list of ROMs right now. We only have uh, that uh, Resurrection Remix there, so we're going to go back. We're going to click on Add ROM. Uh, it's an Android ROM. Um, we're going to our internal storage, so you don't want to touch anything there. Uh, click Next. Uh, we are going to be in installing a zip file, uh, and now we have to find the file. So I'm going to click up. Um, I'm going to pause this while I figure out what I want to flash. All right, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and flash 6-ROM. Um, so let's go ahead and I want to get the latest one uh, right here. Let's get that one there, I think. Next, zip file. I think that's the latest one. Shamu 27, yeah, that's it. All right, uh, pretty much uh, swiped install. And that's going to uh, start the install. Now, the only thing that you're going to be able to do from this point is just to install the ROM. It's not going to allow you to put G apps or anything like that on. That's going to come in the next step. All right, it's done flashing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back. Um, and we're going to go back again. Now we're going to go into our list of ROMs. And you'll notice now we have two ROMs. We have uh, in our secondary. We have uh, Resurrection Remix and we have 6-ROM now. Both of those are in our secondary. Plus, remember, we have Resurrection Remix uh, in our primary as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on 6-ROM, and I'm going to finish installing G-Apps, um, Super User, uh, all that stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that. But quickly, I'm going to show you you have uh, Delete up here, which means if you click on that, that will delete this ROM out of your secondary. Um, I, I, I highly recommend that this is how you do it. Uh, if you want to get rid of a ROM in your secondary, um, it's best to go this route than to go any other route. Uh, also, you have wiped data. If you have an issue, um, whatever that issue may be, and you want to go back to a fresh start again on that ROM, just uh, you know, boot into the uh, into recovery, go to multi-ROM, list, uh, list of ROMs, click on it, and just click wipe data. That will give you a fresh start. That's a factory reset. Uh, and then boot back up and just set your uh, set Google and all that other stuff back up. So that's what that's there for. What we're going to do is we're going to install a zip. Um, and what we are going to install is going to be our G app. So that's going to be under downloads. And I don't have, I'm going to pause this again. All right, I don't. All I have is the open gaps. Uh, I, I highly recommend if you're going to install 6ROM or Pure Nexus that you install the G apps that they recommend. Uh, which are uh, their own delta gaps, but I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, open gaps um, micro. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swipe to confirm. I'm going to go ahead and pause this because it takes a while. This is uh, a pretty big package. Okay, the uh, gaps are finished flashing on this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back. Uh, I'm going to wipe cache. I'm going to go back. I'm going to wipe Delvic. Now I'm going to flash super user, so we're going to go back, install zip, um, and I think the super user zip is in my A zips. And um, let me see here quickly. Um, all right. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go super user. Uh, I want the uh, uh, super user uh, SR3 uh, V279. That's the one I'm going to flash. So we're going to go ahead and flash that. Hopefully it takes. I had an issue with it before uh, saying it didn't want to install it. I don't know why it didn't want to install it. Uh, but it was, so... See, it says it failed. So, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back. Um, and I'm going to install uh, another zip um, up a level. Actually, I'm going to go back. I'm going to reboot to recovery. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna try to install kernel first see if that helps um, let's see we want to go to multi ROM so this is exactly why I tell you guys flash it uh, or flash your ROM set it up and then just move it to secondaries all right we're gonna go list ROMs uh, six ROM install zip up level uh, let me see where we at here downloads uh, I want to be up a level and we want to be in a zips and uh, what am I after kernels we're gonna go with blackbird kernel swipe to install and it was successful so it must just be that zip maybe that's a bad zip so um, we're gonna go ahead and reboot the system now because I have my G apps and everything and blackbird kernel uh, I'm going to let that boot up. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, just to make sure that it boots properly. Um, when it gets to the uh, boot screen, I'm going to click cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and click on 6ROM. And remember, you have to tap it twice and it's not... There it is. So now it's going to boot into 6ROM. And again, you may actually get it where it's going to start to boot and then it just goes back to, um, uh, to the Google... Um, yeah the Google start page and then you're gonna to have to click it again uh, it's just uh, it's something about multi ROM um, unofficial it, it wasn't doing it on the official one but it does do it on the unofficial a lot not all the time but quite a bit it's gonna do it this time so you want to be ready for it so when it clicks on so when it goes back to that um, you want to you will just want to hit six ROM again so cancel it's gonna boot now this time it should boot right into it and we shouldn't have any problems And we'll see. I'm not going to pause this until we uh, until we make sure it's going to boot. Yeah, the only thing I can think is that super user must have been a bad zip. That's that's all. All right, it's booting this time. I think it's going to take. Uh, guys, when you hear me talk about a USB OTG, uh, I know a lot of you already know what it is, but there are some people that are new to this, um, and I wanted to show you what I was referring to. Uh, this is just one of them. Um, it'll take uh, large SD cards and it'll also take the little uh, micro SD cards. You can also, also use a cable um, and plug it into, you know, whatever, a drive if you have a, uh, like a passport drive. Right now I just have a little thumb drive on here, 16 gigabyte, um, and that just plugs into your, uh, into your OTG, uh, into your micro port. And this gives you uh, external storage. So this is exactly what I'm talking about uh, when I say uh, use, you know, OTG at your, uh, you know, USB OTG. It's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it boots up all the way. I don't want this to be a very long video. All right, guys, there you have it. It just uh, booted up. So that's it. I mean, that is how you install. Um, that's how you uh, install multi-ROM and how you use it. Uh, I don't know of any other thing that I can tell you to do. Um, I'm going to pause this and get through this here real quick, uh, and then we'll get back to 6ROM, and I'll uh, give you some closing thoughts. All right, I uh, got her all set up. We're there, um, and it's, uh, it's booted up. As you guys can see, 6ROM uh, does not come with a lot, uh, and if you flash a small uh, Google Apps package, you're not going to get a lot in it. So... Um, and as you guys can see, super, you did, or super user did flash. I don't know why it said failed. Um, but again, guys, I highly recommend that you, uh, that you go ahead and um, uh, install the ROM that you want, set it up the way you like it, and then just copy it over to your secondary. It, it just works so much better. I found I've had much fewer issues and everything takes. So... Um, that's pretty much it guys that's how you install multi ROM uh, and that's how you use it uh, if you guys liked the video make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, I do want to thank all my subscribers uh, keep the comments coming uh, and I will see you on the next one